It has been said that the Baphomet was regarded as a god by various groups and organizations such as the Knights Templar. It is most famously portrayed as a goat-headed deity with a human body harboring both male and female attributes, an androgen representing perfect balance, a union of opposites, and illustrates the old cryptic saying, as above, so below. The word hermaphrodite, incidentally, comes from combining the words Hermes and Aphrodite. This symbolism is further expressed in the 16th letter of the Hebrew alphabet, the ayin, meaning I. It's also the 16th letter of the Phoenician alphabet, which gave us the origin of the Greek and Latin letter O. The perfect circle it is also symbolic of balance, as well as an ancient and universal symbol of unity, wholeness, infinity, and the goddess energy. It represents the female spirit or divine force. The dot in the center of the circle, in some esoteric occult interpretations going back for many millennia, represents the male force. So combined, the circle and the dot symbolize the spiritual merging of male and female polarities. Ein is for eye, and indeed its ancient pictograph symbol is that of an eye, which can still be broadly seen on what is popularly known as the Hamza and other places. The word pyramid comes from pyro, meaning fire, and mid, meaning middle. To secret societies and ancient mystery schools, the iron represents light. Capricorn, whose attribute is liberty, is also regarded as the goat of Mendes. The last Sabbath of the Roman month of December falls on the Germanic pagan festival of Yule, which the Roman Catholic Church transformed into Christmas. It may surprise some Americans to learn that the goat figures prominently in Scandinavian Christmas, still called by its original pagan name of Yule. The origin of the Yule goat goes as far back to pre-Christian days where goats were linked to the pagan Norse god Thor who rode the sky in a chariot drawn by two goats. According to Norse legend, when Thor killed and cooked the two goats, their flesh provided sustenance for the deity and his guests, following which Thor resurrects them with his hammer the following day. There are many variations on the common theme. In Finland, the Yule goat was an ugly creature that frightened children and demanded gifts at Christmas to be placated. During the 19th century, its role shifted towards becoming the giver of Christmas gifts. In Finland, as well as the rest of Scandinavia, with one of the men in the family dressing up as the Yule goat. The goat was replaced by Father Christmas, or Santa Claus, at the end of the 19th century. Christmas wasn't even celebrated in the US until the mid 1800s because it was considered a pagan drinking holiday of revelry and in some cases orgy. There are several theories as to the origin or etymology of the word Baphomet. One of them argues that a substitution cipher was used in the creation of the word which substitutes the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet for the last the second for the second last, and so on. Therefore, Baphomet rendered in Hebrew with such a cipher can be interpreted as the Greek word Sophia, meaning wisdom. In this context, the Baphomet carries the same occult meaning as the owl. Let us see what Freemason Aleister Crowley has to say about this since he was known to sign his name as Baphomet. In his book, Magic, Book 4, Crowley asserted that, and I quote, The devil is, historically, the god of any people that one personally dislikes. This serpent, Satan, is not the enemy of man, but he who made gods of our race, 
knowing good and evil. He bade know thyself and taught initiation. He is the devil of the book of Thoth and his emblem is Baphomet, the androgen, who is the hieroglyph of arcane perfection. He is therefore life and love. But moreover, his letter is Ion, the eye, so that he is light. And his zodiacal image is Capricornus, that leaping goat whose attribute is liberty. We established earlier that the Ion is the 16th letter of the Old Hebrew and Phoenician alphabets. But in the occult and alternative sciences, there is no such thing as any number past 9. So a 16 is actually 1 plus 6, giving the Ion the numeric or Kabbalistic value of 7, which incidentally is the true meaning of the G in Freemasonry, as it is the seventh letter of the English alphabet. The motto of the Pythagorean Mystery School is, All is Number, and the number seven alludes to the heavily guarded secrets of sacred internal alchemy.